वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स दिस वीडियो इज गिव्स यू हाउ टू एलिमिनेट एन आर्बिटरी फंक्शन एंड आर्बिटरी पैरामीटर टू फॉर्म अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आउट ऑफ इट सो लेट्स कंसिडर द टू पैरामीटर फैमिली ऑफ द सर्फेस जैड इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ x y a and b on differentiating this parameter family on differentiating with respect to x and y we obtain zx that is del z by del x and we have denoted this del z by del x as p is equal to fx x y a b and q which we have denoted as zy which is del z by del y which is fy at x y a b here a and b are the arbitrary constants so if i have a, this is equation 1 2 and 3 and we have to solve this equation 1 2 and 3 and we have to get the value of a and b and we have to eliminate them and to obtain the value of a and b in terms of x y p and q so that we can write here we can solve two of the above three equation to find a and b in terms of x y p and q and this is possible to obtain the value of a and b in terms of x y p and q if the matrix f a f x a f y a f b f x b and f y b if this matrix is of rank 2 by implicit function theorem then it is possible to find out the value of a and b in terms of x y p and q is there and substituting this value of a and b to the original equation that is the f of x y z p and q is the differential equation will be obtained we'll understand this one with example so let us consider the z is equal to x plus a x square y square plus b the question is to obtain the what will be the partial differential equation which satisfies this equation where this a and b are arbitrary constant now on differentiating both side with respect to x and y we get p a p is del z by del x which will gives you 1 plus a 2x y square because a derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of x square is 2x and the derivative of b is 0 and q will gives you del z by del y which have the derivative of x is 0 this will gives me 2 ax square y if i call this is as equation 1 this will as equation 2 and we have this is equation 3 now we have to eliminate a and b from this three equations to do this we'll find out the value of a from this or from this you can substitute in the other equation and that will eliminate the value of a from this two so from this the second third equation will gives you a equal to q upon 2x square y and if you put this value in equation 2 we get is p equal to 1 plus 2a a is we have this q 2x square y into 
x y square. This two is get cancel out. X will get cancel. Y is also get cancel. So the equation left with q upon x y is there. And if you simplify this one, you will have p x is equal to x plus q y. So this will implies the equation will be x p minus y q minus x is equal to zero is your differential equation, partial differential equation, which satisfies this equation. Let us consider one more example. Consider this. That is x minus a square plus y minus b square plus z square equal to one. So it is an equation of a sphere whose center is a, b, and zero, and the radius is one. So this is a family of the sphere whose center is this, and radius is one. We have to find out the differential equation, partial differential equation, which satisfies this family of surface. So on differentiating with respect to x and y, we get 2x minus a plus 2 plus 0 because we are differentiating with respect to x. So this quantity is constant plus 2z into del z by del x equal to 0. And del z by del x we have substituted as p. So that will leads to 2zp equal to minus 2x minus a will gives you zp equal to minus of x minus a. Now if you differentiate this with respect to y then that will leads to 0 plus 2y minus b plus 2z equal to 0 to z into q equal to 0. So that's why zq equal to minus of p minus b you will have. So now we have a three equation. This is the first equation. This one is second equation. And this is the third equation. We have to eliminate this three equation. And we have to obtain, sorry, we have to use this three equation. And we have to obtain the value of, and we have to eliminate the value of a and b from it. So what I will do is, I just substitute the value of x minus a from equation 2 and y minus b from equation 3 into the equation 1 and that will leads to so putting x minus a equal to minus of zp and y minus b equal to minus of zq in 1 we get z square p square plus z square q square plus z square equal to 1. So that will leads to z square will be common out p square plus q square plus 1 equal to 1. So that is the required differential equation which eliminate the a and b which satisfies this family of spheres. Let's solve one more example here. Let's consider z is equal to x plus a and y plus b, where a and b are arbitrary constants. So you have to calculate the differential equation which satisfies this surface. So on differentiating with respect to x and y that I'm not writing now, that is you can do that. That is del z by del x we have it is p, which will gives you y plus b due to the value of the derivative of x plus a is 1 and the y plus b with respect to x is constant and the value of q you have it is del z by del y is equal to x plus a now putting y plus a and x plus a into this you will have the equation that is pq equal to z that is your required differential equation we have so any of this type of example is asked, you can able to construct a differential equation using or giving the given surface.
Now there is one more type of examples is there to find out the partial differential equation whose solution is this z minus xy comma x square plus y square equal to 0 where this capital F is arbitrary function. This is another example. So what is the objective? We have to eliminate this arbitrary function and we have to find out the corresponding partial differential equation. So if I consider this function as u comma v equal to 0 where u is equal to z minus xy and v is equal to x square plus y square. On differentiating with respect to x and y we get what is the situation here your f is a function which is a function of x and y sorry which is a function of u and v and u and v are the functions of x y and obviously it is a function of z but z is an independent variable which depends on x and y so when you differentiate this, you will have del f upon del u if you go via this path and then you have a three variable here that is del u by del x into del x by del x plus del u by del y into del y by del x plus del u by del z into del z by del x and via this part that is del f by del v which gives you del f del v upon del x into del by del x plus del v by del y into del y by del x plus del v by del z into del z by del x is equal to 0 because of this side it is 0. Now what will happen if x is a variable then x del x by del x that means a derivative of x with respect to x will gives you 1. A y is an independent variable and you are differentiating y with respect to x this will gives you 0 and this is the value of p. This will be 0 again this is 1 and this is value is p. So finally what we have here it is del f upon del u in bracket del u by del x plus p into del u by del z plus del f upon del v del u by del x plus p into sorry del v by del x plus p into del v by del z equal to 0. Similarly, if you differentiate this one with respect to y, then in similar argument, whenever we have x here, all the places we have y. So that's why we can have and del f by del u into del u by del y plus p into del u by del z. But instead of p we have here, it is q now because it is del z by del y, del f upon del v into del v upon del x plus q del v upon del z equal to 0. Now we have given the function, we have taken the function u is z minus x into y and v is x square plus y square. So now you have z sorry u is x z minus x y and v is x square plus y square so you have to calculate what is del z by del x del z by del y and we have to substitute all this value here so finally what we have is del f by del u del u by del x is minus 1 so del f by del u into minus y because del u by del x is minus 1. 
is p into minus y because the derivative of z is also there. So it is p minus y. Del u by del y will be q minus x. Del v by del x will be 2x. Del v by del y will be 2y. And del u by del z is 1 and del v by del z is 0. So you have this value now that is p minus y plus p into del u by del z. Del u by del z is 1 so it is plus p plus del f upon del v into del v by del x. Del v by del x we have calculated is 2x. So this 2x plus p into del v by del z which is 0. So this p into 0 which have 0. And the second equation del u by del x del, del f by del u. In the second one we have this del u by del y. Del u by del y is q minus x plus q into 1. So it is plus q del f upon del v. This is 2y due to the derivative of v with respect to y plus del v by del z is 0. So that's why it is plus q into 0 equal to 0. Now if you simplify further then you will have del f upon del u into 2p minus y plus del f upon del v 2x is equal to 0 and this will be therefore we have this that del u by del f upon del u is 2q minus x plus del f upon del v 2y equal to 0. Now what we have to do is we have to eliminate this del f upon del u from this and these are the two linear equations into the if I consider this is my variable x and the, this one is my variable y then this is a linear equation in terms of x and y. This has the solution other than 0 if this the determinant 2p minus y 2x 2q minus x and 2y is 0. This is bus simple way that is a1x plus b1y equal to 0, a2x plus b2y is equal to 0. This system of linear equation as a solution is always there, 0 is the solution. But other than 0, it has a solution if this a1, b1, a2, b2 is 0. So that's why we have this and so this will leads to 2p minus y into 2y minus 2x into 2q minus x is equal to 0 and if you simplify this this will gives you 4py minus 4 sorry 2y square minus 4xq plus 2x square equal to 0 and if you simplify further from this to 4 is common out so it is 4 into py minus xq and from this to it is minus 2 y square minus x square equal to 0. So this is the required equation, partial differential equation which does not contain the function f. Further you can just take out two common and cancel out from the both side. So that is your required equation is there. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or question, please drop down in the comment box below. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Sayonara.